Hello and welcome to TPM's 3 Minute Thursday. This week we want to take a look at how to bulk update file data card values when a folder data card changes. So scenario here is we've got uh, a whole bunch of files and the project name was not entered. So if we go back up we can see that the folder data card uh, for the project name is, is empty but the project number uh, did pass down. So we just we forgot to enter some information and we want to update all of the files. How do we do this? Well, the first thing you need to be able to do is check out those files. Now you can see that these files are in various states, under editing, approved, and waiting for approval. Typically things that are in uh, review states or approved, nobody can check out. So you do need to make sure you're logged into somebody who can check these out. Thankfully I'm logged in as admin, I can do anything. So how does this, uh, how does this work? Well, what you want to do is go back up to the top level project folder, in this case, and go ahead and enter your values in here. So go ahead and put in a value here. Make sure you spell it right. There is no spell check up this level. Save that and when you go drill down you'll see that the folders inherit the values but the files do not. Okay and that's that's what we're trying to update here. So go back up to the main folder, come up to the modify menu inside of EPDM come down to update and you'll see values in files. Select this. It's a simple little wizard uh, that you step through. The first uh, screen just wants to know if you want to limit this to certain file names. Leave it blank if you want to grab everything. Uh, select which workflow states do you want to affect. We're just going to let it grab everything. It gives you a list of all the files that are going to be affected. Again, you can check them on and off. And then which value do you want to update? Well, this is the value that we added, project name. We want to check that one off. Uh, any configurations that uh, you want to apply this to, we'll go ahead and let it affect all of them and then finish it out. And then everything is updated. When you go down into the folder, now you'll see that you've got this uh, value of bail wrapper housing down into each uh, project name variable and then of course down into their title blocks. Make sure you check everything in and your files are all updated now. And that's been TPM's 3 Minute Thursday. We hope to see you next time.